It is time to get prepared. BlackRock and Larry Fink and the financial system is changing everything. And they are going to skyrocket crypto. As we have the Bitcoin conference this weekend with RFK there, Trump being there, Kamala Harris backed out, and we probably know why. This is changing as we know it. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Uh, we're out here at the Lake House. We have one of our meeting, our corporate meetings for one of our companies out here. So I'll do the best I can to keep the audio rocking and rolling. But I did not want to miss my video. Uh, we had a little bit of a situation this morning. We couldn't get the video out, but we are here ready to rock and roll. So we're going to dive right in. So the first thing that we're going to listen to, family, is uh, this is BlackRock two months ago. This is Larry Fink on Rethinking Retirement. And then I'm going to show you a few things. We're going to dive into... Uh, the video that Good Morning Crypto put out around BlackRock and their ETF, um, talking about the Ethereum ETFs, or excuse me, ETFs in general. Uh, we're going to talk about, let me see, was it Ethereum ETF? Let me make sure here. Yeah, the ETH ETF. Uh, then we're going to look at, we're going to dive into some narratives around the Bitcoin conference and things happening. Uh, but you should be able to take a deep breath right now. <sighs> Get ready, man. Get ready for the greatest transformation in wealth and history. And congratulations to all of you who have held the line, have not tripped, who a diamond hand. But we got to get prepared with the game plan. So on the back end of every video, as I always do, I'm going to share my exact plan. So let's check this out. I believe in capitalism, that in the long run, it's the best uh, economic model in the world. Uh, give me one second. We may have some a bumpy road with this. There we go. There we go. Let's try this again. I believe in capitalism, that in the long run, it's the best uh, economic model in the world. But what disturbed me as I wrote this letter, we never talk about retirement. It is not a conversation we're having. And that is why it's becoming a bigger and bigger problem. If individuals had better information on how to navigate it over their 30 or 40 year journey of work, they then can build the adequacy. Okay. So what he's talking about is we're not talking about retirement. It's not part of uh, their campaigns. It's not part of the conversation. Remember, our parents taught us to go to school, get a job, get a 401k, right? That's what they taught us how to do. You used to have pension, guys. The, the retirement model could give you a decent living. It's done. Like the going to school, getting a job, getting a 401k, and hoping, hoping that the markets are favorable when you retire – doesn't work guys it's not going to work anymore we have to take sovereignty of our wealth we have to understand debts and non-negotiables we have to understand how money works we have to understand financial literacy we have to get disciplined with our finances and it is the greatest time in human history because we have a massive shift in innovation where we get the opportunity as normal everyday citizens to get involved. So that was his thing He's, he keeps talking about rethinking retirement we need to grow our way out of the economy private and public sectors coming together, privatizing the airports, all these different things, guys. America's buried in debt. The only way we can get out of this is to grow through the economy. So what I feel personally is that the things that I'm invested in are the things that are going to grow us out of the economy. And I truly feel that this is just like a, you know, like when the, in the auto boom, the dot-com boom is people who made those investments in the companies that they believed were going to survive regulation became some of the richest people in the world. So let's listen to this from Good Morning Crypto Show, uh, one of the greatest shows in human history. I just want to give a big shout out to them. I love them so much. It's been so neat to see their growth. Uh, we all came together, you know, 2020 transition to 2021. And the Good Morning Crypto Show was an inception of when I was heading to Peru. Uh, and our amazing, you know, Johnny, Abs, Mario, they all came together and said, hey, we'll support you to keep the channel going where you're out in Peru in a garden. And then it became one what I believe to be in the future, one of the largest uh, crypto uh, news stations in the history of, of humanity that I believe. And I was on live with them yesterday. There's 4,000 people live, which I'm just so grateful and so honored to work with them. I just want to put that out. So uh, Good Morning Crypto put this out. It says, Breaking BlackRock, BlackRock releases new EFT video for investors. It's the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap after Bitcoin and has key characteristics that make it distinct. While many see Bitcoin's key appeal in its scarcity, many find Ethereum's appeal in its utility. Ethereum is a highly programmable blockchain that provides infrastructure for a diverse range of assets and use cases. You could think of Ethereum as a global platform for applications. This platform enables applications referred to as smart contracts to run without a centralized intermediary. Transactions on Ethereum require a transaction fee to be paid in the network's native token, Ether. 
investor interest in Ether has been expanding as more people adopt digital assets. And that's why we're introducing Ether, the iShares Ethereum Trust ETF, which provides investors convenient exposure to Ether. Here are three things to know about Ether. The first- So think about this real quick. We need to rethink retirement. Larry Fink, Bitcoin ETF, Ether ETF, flight to quality Bitcoin, right? And I'm gonna show you how RFK is talking about after the last Bitcoin conference, he's like, I dumped most of my wealth into Bitcoin. Now we have a Bitcoin election, guys. This is super, super exciting. This is access. Ether enables investors to access Ethereum's native token Ether within a traditional brokerage account. The second is convenience. Ether can help remove operational burdens associated with holding Ether directly, as well as potential high trading costs and tax reporting complexities. And finally, integrated technology. Ether is managed by the world's largest asset manager and leverages a multi-year technology integration developed with Coinbase Prime the world's largest institutional digital asset custodian. Again, Coinbase, we talk about that. I've been telling you guys, Ether's part of the system. Coinbase is part of the system. Access Ether through your online brokerage. or just Okay, so that's the commercial part of it. So let's keep on moving on here. So Wisconsin pension funds now include Bitcoin. State of Wisconsin Investment Board purchases more than 160 million in shares of Bitcoin exchange traded funds between January and April. We got world's largest pension funds and considering investing in Bitcoin. Japan's government pension fund will explore investments in liquidity assets, including forest, farmland, gold, and Bitcoin. Okay, now this was pretty fun right here. So this is what the was at the um, uh, karate, I think it's karate combat. Yeah, karate combat. So we're going to listen to RFK talking about where he put most of his wealth into Bitcoin after the last conference. By Robert F. Kennedy Jr., presidential candidate for 2024. Thank you for joining us this evening, sir. Oh, I'm so excited to see this. That was an amazing fight. I, I, I was astonished about how tough they are. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, these fighters will lay everything on the line to get the win here tonight. Um, you're here in Nashville. You're speaking of Bitcoin 2024. Uh, how has your experience been so far? I'm a huge supporter of Bitcoin. I was here a year ago at the other Bitcoin conference. I went home with most of my wealth into Bitcoin. So <laughs> There you go. <laughs> right from the horse's mouth. I put most of my wealth into Bitcoin. And so I'll leave you guys with this off Dennis, Dennis Porter's channel here uh, off of Twitter. Um, they keep talking about this massive breaking news. U.S. Senator Loomis to announce Bitcoin strategic reserve bill in Nashville. Trump to endorse. So we're going to be waiting for this big announcement. We'll see what happens. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen. Breaking news coming out of Fox. We have a Bitcoin strategic reserve bill being worked on by Senator Loomis. Word on the street is that Senator Lummis is going to announce this bill officially at the Bitcoin National Conference. And then from there, she is going to be working to get not only other senators on board with this public policy, but also other U.S. senators. This bill is going to be potentially announced just before, just before Donald Trump goes on stage. That would be absolutely massive, giving him the potential layup to get behind this policy in a very public way. As the one who broke the news on Donald Trump potentially getting behind this bill, I couldn't be more excited to see that this effort is moving forward. I think all of us are going to be very much paying attention to when Donald Trump goes on stage. And I'll be in the room and waiting for that potential announcement. Thank you for Senator Lummis and her team. They have worked overtime for years now to advance Bitcoin, not only at the state level, but at the federal level as well. I look forward to the announcement and I'll see you all. All right. That's some exciting, exciting news. So here we are. <laughs> we started this channel back in 2020. I'll never forget the moment. December 20th, 2020. I was actually quarantined because of this whole pandemic bullshit um and i you know i have a, I have a one of my businesses is a gym and i had to shut it down or i had to quarantine myself every you know people were had both views on it right so when things happen i had to quarantine myself and i'll never forget that moment i was sitting in a hotel room i was quarantined that was probably the worst thing you could do is lock me in a hotel room for 14 days i actually did deep meditation for 14 days straight it was all through christmas i couldn't see my family it was probably one of the deepest meditations i've ever done then all of a sudden it was december 20th 2012 my phone starts blowing up jv uh, jay clayton initiated the case against ripple around xrp being a security i'm out blah 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 and i said i'm holding on like a tick on a dog comment down below if you were with us back then and i started to look at everything very very differently man from a totally different lens i pulled myself to a thirty thousand foot overview i started to 
mentor and get deeper education around how wealth truly moves through the system, who the richest families in the world, what are the largest companies doing? And I put my blinders on and I started to study things that actually would move the needle forward. So what I started to do is I diversified during the bull run outside of cryptocurrency. And then when everything came collapsing down, I have been accumulating, accumulating. I'm going to follow the exact same cycle as we go from 2024 into 2026. And then I'm, we're going to focus on the next boom and bust cycles, which is going to be AI. And we're going to follow the same cycle. So I simply use the risk pyramid. This is my strategy. It works very well for me. Uh, it's been basically created financial freedom for me and my family. Uh, we've created businesses that have created financial freedom. We've also have investments that we believe are going to create financial freedom, but it's just a simple strategy I use the risk pyramid. Okay. As you go up the left side of the risk pyramid, high risk, high return. Okay. The higher the risk, the higher the return. But if there's super high risk, you are the exit liquidity. Very simple. You're the exit, the higher the risk, you're the exit liquidity. Okay. If you're trying to get rich quick, it's never going to work. So as it's going up the risk pyramid, becoming more risky, the riskier it is, the more you need to pull profits as it goes up. So I pull house money from the top, from my initial investment. Once I make money, I call it house money. I pull that gap out, 50% of it, and I pull it down the risk pyramid. I use insurance. I call it tier one capital. I Tier one capital, excuse me, it's at the bottom of the risk pyramid. I like to insure my house money to protect it to compound it and to be able to borrow against it tax-free. I want to borrow against my assets tax-free. From there, throughout the last couple of years, I've de developed businesses in information, technology, attention, and education. If you don't make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. Warren Buffett. I also follow rule number, uh, uh, number another rule that Warren Buffett says. Okay, Rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, follow rule number one. Okay, So I put my thing in things that secure my principal. And then what I do is basically as these cycles go up and everybody's rushing in to get rich quick, okay, trust me, after this Nashville conference, after the, the presidential election, then all of a sudden it's going to go parabolic. Next year, everybody's going to start buying in at the top. And as they're buying at the top, I've already sold three to four times, okay? Now I'm holding 50% of my portfolio long-term, all my cryptos long-term, okay? From there, once everything settles, I'll be staking from earned income should always make sure your money is making money. And number two, I'll borrow against some of the assets to get money tax-free to buy more assets. Okay. I've been thinking a lot about Bitcoin. I may not sell any of my Bitcoin, to be honest with you. I may hold it for a lifetime, just my Bitcoin. And here's what I was thinking, you know, comment down below what you think about this strategy. So with my Bitcoin, if I hold my Bitcoin, I'm going to keep accumulating, keep accumulating. I dollar cost average every day in the Bitcoin. When it dips, I buy more. As Bitcoin goes up, if we think about it, if we pull out to a 30,000 foot over view the chart just continues to go up right and the micro goes up and down but it's 80 percent supply is is locked up 20 percent is left it's a risk on risk off asset they can't print more of it right so if it's, if it's true that it's going to continue to go up in value some people say 2.8 million in, in the future who knows right but if that's going to continue to go up in value so to behoove me to keep my bitcoin right and if i choose to buy an asset borrow from my Bitcoin tax-free, buy the asset like a real estate property, let the person that's renting it pay that down. So now the LTV goes down and as the asset continues to go up, so now I'm creating more of a gap, right? They're paying off the loan. And I know I have a house that is, is appreciating and I have Bitcoin that's, so I have two appreciating assets that I borrowed against one to multiply the money and the renter is paying back the loan, right? So it's multiplying multiplying. So as the equity goes up, I pull more, buy another property, let them pay it off. So you have all these renters paying off the loan and an appreciating asset and a property that's appreciating. That's just a thought process that I've been thinking about. And it's a strategy. We are heading into real estate soon. Um, that's, that's our thing is multifamily. So that's basically what I'm doing, always being transparent and honest with you guys. Uh, so yeah, so we're here to help. If you need any support at all in the description of this video, you can fill out what's called a needs assessment. Okay, so I insure my wealth and it, I don't know if it's right for you, but you can fill out the needs assessment and that will allow the proper team member to reach out to you. So if you fill out the needs assessment, my team will reach out to you and uh, do a free financial uh, retirement strategy for you. If you need any support or if you click my social media platform, if you click the link, uh, my team will reach out to you and do a free financial strategy. So um, I love you guys. I appreciate you. So I'm out at the lake house with our uh, Merlin team. We're having a great time. Big shout out to Good Morning Crypto. 
I'll be back in the game on Tuesday. So I'll probably do another video like this on Monday morning. Um, but I love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, Warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go.